wanted to do this video for quite some time and today is the day and also some of you have requested this and I want to give you what you want so today we are getting into my entire Hermes handbag collection so let's get started welcome back guys if you're new here Hi, Maytel, happy to have you. If you love videos like this, make sure you subscribe because I do videos like this all the time and I'd love to have you part of my Style Hard community. Now let's just jump right into some of the most exquisite handbags in the world, really, all handcrafted, Hermes. Hermes bags are some of the most coveted bags in the world, as some of you may know. Some of them are really hard to get. I'm going to tell you about each one and what I love about it and what's so special about it and all the little details. And I'm just going to start with the bag that I'm currently using. It's full and it's right here next to me. That's why it's not in a dust bag behind me. Um, and this is the bag that I recently did a video about. It's my 35 centimeter Tosca color Birkin with gold hardware. It is absolutely gorgeous and magnificent and supple and luscious and dreamy, all of that good stuff. And one of the things I mentioned in my video about this Tosca Birkin is that over the last couple years, people have been kind of gravitating more towards these smaller bags, the little micro bags, and that's what's really hot and trendy right now but I still love a 35 centimeter. And as you can tell, this is full and heavy because I need a 35 centimeter. I need to put all my stuff in here. Like this is just like my day-to-day -day essentials. In fact, after this video, I will do a what's in my bag so you can see exactly what I hold in here. So stay tuned for that. Um, but let's get into some details about this gorgeous bag. This is Togo leather, again, with beautiful gold hardware. I just love it. You know, the thing about a Birkin, especially when you carry so many things in it, it does get heavy when you're, you know, wearing it on the crook of your arm. You can't exactly wear it as a shoulder bag, but it is just, you know, it's chic. It is chic i know i say that a lot on this channel but that's exactly what it is this color is rich and gorgeous and what i love so much about this color is that it's very much versatile for every season this could be worn in spring and summer because it's you know pink and gorgeous but it's also like a deep pink a raspberry a true raspberry color technically the actual color is Tosca, but it is a true raspberry, which could be worn for fall and winter as well. And like I said in my previous video, you can dress this up with twillies and kind of make it more to the season. You could put fall winter colors and kind of make it more fall winter vibe and you can brighten up the twillies and make it more spring summer vibes. Um, one of my favorite grains of leather is Togo. I love that it's like just really grainy. I love that it's slouchy. I love that it's veiny. Um, and you know, for me, I just, I'm very much into gold hardware on Hermes bags. If I can find a bag with gold hardware, I will always choose gold. I just think it just pops more. Um, I do love silver as well. I would take palladium, but, um, I do tend to favor gold hardware. So when I found the score from Hope Classics, the um, consignment boutique that I found this brick in, I was so happy that they had this amazing, gorgeous pink Birkin with gold hardware for such an amazing price. I thought this was such a good score. It's like new, new condition and I truly love it. So yeah, this is the first out of the one, two, three, four, five, six. Out of the six bags that I'm gonna show you, my 35 centimeter Tosca Birkin. I guess I'll just go in order of what's behind me. So this is how I lined it up, and this is how I'm gonna show it to you. So next is, I haven't worn this in so long, I should truly bust this out. Any guesses? 
the beautiful Evelyn GM in classic Hermes orange. Sick. In Clemence leather. Clemence is like right up there for me with Togo. I love Clemence. I love Clemence for the same reasons that I love Togo. I love that it's grainy. I love that it's a slouchy leather. It just makes it really casual. And I, as much as I do love to dress up and go out at night, with these bags, I just love them to be wearable, especially if I'm going to spend a lot of money on a handbag. I want it to be wearable. I want it to be something I could wear every day and something that's casual that could be dressed up or down. Um, this is definitely more of a daytime bag, not an evening bag. A very, very classic Hermes bag. This is a very coveted Hermes bag. Um, and uh, it's so, so casual. It has a pocket on the back and I heard actually that the correct way to wear this bag is this way. So you know most of the time you see women wearing the bag this way, crossbody with the H, um, but apparently you are supposed to wear it this way. This is the correct way to wear the bag. Like this or crossbody. Did I mention that this is GM? Yes, this is GM. This is the large grand bag, <laughs> grand size Evelyn. Um, and again, I love a big bag. I still do. Yeah. I do love little bags, but I save those for nighttime. I can't have a day-to-day -day bag with a tiny little bag. Like that's just for like lipstick, eyeliner, cell phone, and like a couple other things. If I'm going day to day, I need space. I'm going to show you what I keep in my bag in my next video, what's in my bag, but you will understand why I need space. This is just like I said, casual, an amazing mom bag, by the way, because it's crossbody, so I'm hands free and I can throw all of my, my own personal stuff in it, my kids stuff in it, like their snacks, like stuff like that. And it's just so good for my lifestyle, just like grab it go throw everything in like carry all in crossbody form beautiful beautiful color amazing grainy clemence leather hermes evelyn gm highly recommend this if you're thinking about getting it i'm very very happy with this bag next next we have i don't even know it's gonna be a surprise for me too oh yes and now i know Next we have ah, another 35 centimeter Hermes Birkin stuffed. This is how I store my bags. I always store them like you see in their dust bags. This is how I store them. Um, and I close up the Birkin and I stuff them with everything that they came with that like huge bubble bubble stuffing that they give you. Um, obviously the, the little dust case for the lock and close shed. And this is what they give you to um, protect the hardware. But I don't store it like that because it's just sitting in my closet. It's not gonna get scratched up just sitting in my closet with the uh, dust bag over it. But yes, again, another 35 centimeter. I have to say, this might be my absolute favorite favorite handbag out of my entire Hermes collection. Maybe my entire collection. This is the first Hermes I ever got and I was dying for this cognac color which is called gold. Hermes calls this color gold. This is their classic cognac color. It's classic Hermes gold. So I really wanted a gold Birkin with gold hardware and I wanted this grainy leather, but I didn't know at the time the difference between Togo and Clemence. Now, on the receipt, it says Togo, so it is Togo. But the weird thing about Hermes leather is that it's really different in every piece of leather that you get. Every bag that you get is different, and I'll show you that with another bag that I have that's also Togo and just completely different from this. This really, to me, seems like Clemence. Clemence is a bigger grain. It's a heavier leather typically, and it's a slouchier leather typically. And this 
really feels to me like a bigger grain, a slouchier leather, you know, um, and so I don't know, like, is it possible that they got it wrong and it's Clemence and not Togo? I have no idea. They probably didn't get it wrong. I just think that the two are similar and I think this is like borderline Clemence. I think it's like almost like a cross between Togo and Clemence, which I would say is my favorite favorite because I love the two leathers so much. So for a bag that I love so much, this 35 centimeter gold on gold, to have this most perfect slab of leather for it is just so, so perfect because this really is my favorite bag. I just think there's just nothing classier than this color combination. It's an iconic bag, first of all, because it's an Hermes Birkin, but the color combo and just the bag itself is just overall so iconic. It's classic. The color combination is classic. And it is so perfect and so neutral with anything. I could wear a fully blush pink outfit with this. It would be so neutral and perfect. I could wear all black and it would just be so beautiful with an all black look, brown, any color. This really works with anything. It's such a neutral and a real staple for me in my closet. Okay, next I have another 35 centimeter. <laughs> They're not all 35s, I promise you. This is the last, the last of the 35s. Another classic, black and gold. And by the way, just really quickly, since I just talked about the difference between Togo and Clemence and how this bag is Togo, and this is also Togo, the grains of leather are so different. If you see on this, the grain is much larger than on this. This is a smaller grain. But they both do have that slouch, but this just seems to have more of a Clemence heavier slouch to it than this. This is very typical Togo. Um, both Togo and Clemence have veining in the leather, which some people don't like. Some people request bags that have minimal veining. I personally love the veining. And um, yeah, I think you see it less with the smaller grained Togo. Um, but I absolutely love this bag and I've heard some Hermes fanatics say, oh, you know, black is a Birkin you should not get. You should not get black because it's so basic. Like, why get a black Birkin? I actually, I mean, I obviously disagree because I own it, but I think that black with gold, actually black with palladium is also gorgeous, but a black Birkin you cannot go wrong. This is classic. This will always be fashionable. This will always look amazing no matter what you wear. Also, to be honest, the black Birkin is the most desired Birkin. So maybe that's why some people say it's basic because they see it more often. Well, that doesn't bother me. I, I absolutely love it. I think it's a staple. I think if you really are in the market for a Birkin, I personally would think this is one of the places to start color wise just to have you know the classics though the ones that will always be in fashion you know if you have a neon yellow birkin and that's your first one that's not always going to be every season and relevant in fashion for years to come it's kind of something that's very trendy so i mean this wasn't my first one but this was my second one so um definitely up there Again, love, I mean, I love black bags. Most of my bags are black. I wear a lot of black. I love black. I just think, you know, when you when in doubt and you have nothing to wear, wear all black. You know what I mean? I think that's the best <laughs> advice I could take for myself is just like, you know, don't have anything to wear. I'm just going to wear all black like I'm wearing right, <laughs> right now. Um, 
So yeah, again, stuffed the exact same way, um, you know, closed up. Yeah, same stuffing, bubble wrap, and just like perfectly in place with the dust bag on top. Love this. I think I got to rock this soon because I haven't worn this in a while and it's chic. Oh my gosh. I said six. I meant seven. I'm going to go get the seventh one. It's not here because it's in a different area of my closet and I forgot to add it. I'm going to get it. Okay, number seven is my 32 centimeter e taupe e I think it's pronounced, Togo Kelly. And I would say this is one of my most used Hermes bags. I absolutely love it. Um, it is in very good condition, but it, I would say this is not in absolute perfect condition. Uh, first of all, I bought this pre-owned. Um, and I just, I wear it, I enjoy it. I don't baby any of my bags really. Like I store them well, I take really good care of them, but I wear them and I enjoy them. I don't, like I'm not scared to wear my bags. I have some friends that are actually scared to wear their bags and I just think, what's the point? Um, so I really do enjoy all of my bags. Again, this is Togo. Um, it's got lots of good veining in it, but it is again one of those smaller grains. Um, and this is again one of the bigger bags out of the bunch and again this is a bigger bag when it comes to Kelly's uh, the most popular size is 28 but um, a few years ago the most popular sizes were 28 and 32 now it's kind of more just 28 centimeter but um, <laughs> that's part of the reason why I got this at such a great deal I got it a couple of years ago and less people are buying 32s and 35s these days so it's a good time to take advantage when you see something that you love no matter what the trend is um, if it's a good price you should take advantage of it so i did get a good price on this um, it's palladium hardware it's versatile i would have loved it with gold but i never found it with gold and this was just a really great price you know what i love about this kelly is that it's Really, it's, it's versatile because I can wear this for day and for night, like a casual night. Obviously not for like a wedding or a black tie event. I'm not gonna wear a 32 centimeter. I'm gonna wear like a small dainty purse or a clutch, but it can be worn for like a casual night out that's still a night out, that's like a dinner that you're chic, that you're fashionable, but you don't have to wear like some tiny little micro bag. And then again, like day to day. So what I love about this is that I can throw everything in, I can wear it here, I can wear it on my shoulder. Um, and I just, as, as much as I know that people recognize Kelly's pretty much as much as they recognize Birkin's, I feel just a little less in your face with a Kelly, if that makes sense. I just feel sometimes with a Birkin, it's very obvious and it's, Sometimes just I, it's just a statement. I don't want to make you know sometimes if I'm going somewhere I just feel like I don't want to wear a Birkin um, As much as I love the bag. It's just sometimes a statement. I don't want to make I know that a Kelly is pretty much The same maybe it's just in my head, but I just do feel a little less in your face with a Kelly if that makes sense especially this color and this color combination the e-tube with the silver the palladium hardware it's just clean classy not loud at all very sophisticated um, and it's just it's just perfect it's just kept its shape so beautifully um, again this is Togo and it's one of those smaller grains I really would have loved if this was like more of a slouchier bigger grain but I do love it um, and yeah, I would say definitely my, my E2 Palladium 32 Kelly is my most used Hermes bag. Next I have probably the best of the bunch. And you know, I know I said I don't baby my bags and I don't, but if I were to, this would be the one. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Maybe a little bit kidding. <laughs> Again, 
perfect example of Togo in like this smaller grain, also like just a much smaller patch of leather. This is 28. I could not go smaller than 28. I don't know how, I'm, I mean, I just, so many people I follow on Instagram, they're rocking like the tiny ones, like the 25. I know it's so, it's so beautiful. It's so great for nighttime and evening, but that's not something I could wear every day. This is like the, the smallest I could get away with wearing every day. And even with this size, I have to cut down the stuff I put in my bag, but I do love a 25. It's just that I can't justify spending that much money for something I could literally only wear for evening and nighttime and just nights out here and there. I don't go out often enough to justify that cost, whereas I do use these bags on a day-to-day -day basis. So I, you know, I think that 28 would be the smallest I could go. And I keep the strap inside when I'm storing it. So it's in here with its and I actually don't have stuffing in here because it's, it's, so, it's actually so small and compact and just like kind of firm and structured, especially because of the size, um, that there's just no room really to stuff it. And I don't want to overstuff it either because I don't want to like change the shape of it. I just want to keep it pretty and dainty as it is. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't tell you. This is green malachite togo um, with gold hardware, as you can see. But again, green malachite is the color, the most gorgeous shade of green. Um, and just so perfect because it's, it kind of rivals like a classic navy blue. You know, when you think green, you don't think classic, but this really does have that navy blue um, classic vibe to it. It's just the most gorgeous, shade of green and I brightened it up with this twilly that I really don't take off because I think that this twilly is the most perfect twilly to complement green malachite and they came out at the same time. So sometimes, you know, with some of the bags that I've purchased, I can't always find the twillies of the same season to complement those colors, but these kind of came out at the same time and I just got really lucky because I don't think there's a better twilly color combination for this green malachite. So, you know, the protector for the hardware. This is the dust bag for the strap, I think. And yeah, I mean, just beautiful. I just really, you know, if I'm not wearing it, I don't want the strap to get all bent out of shape in the dust bag. You know, sometimes they get stored and then I pick them up a few months later and I see they're like bent out of shape because they're next to all these other bags. So I'm just really careful with it. Um, this is truly one of my favorites. Um, and yeah, just perfect. And actually, you know, I like I said, I love the bigger grains of Togo and I love Clemence, but you know, for this bag and for a 28 centimeter, I'm happy that it's a smaller grain because it actually maintains its shape and structure so much in this bag. I just want to keep perfect forever because it is something that I could wear day to day and also for evening and for, you know, going out at night. So it's just like, I would say the most crossover bag out of the bunch for day to night. That's why I just, I want to keep it as perfect as possible. So actually for this bag, I'm very happy with this, um, slab of leather, I guess you could call it. Um, yeah, just like beautiful Togo green malachite, 28 centimeter Kelly. Hey Google, what time is it? It's 2.08. Oh, okay. Gotta pick up the kids soon. Okay, last but not least, if you guys are day one Stylehard subscribers, you know this bag, because this was like one of my first videos I ever posted, which was my unboxing of this. 30 centimeter, what's it called? Blue Zanzibar and Palladium. So like I did with my other two 35 centimeter Birkins, I want to compare to you the grains of both of these Togos. These are the most similar grains, like out of, like look, these are just like exactly the same. This could have been like the same exact batch of leather, it seems like they are just the exact same grain of Togo. Um, 
And again, for this bag, I don't mind that it's a smaller grain because it is a smaller bag. And with the 35s, I like them to be more slouchy and more like, more casual. A 30 is definitely still casual. Um, but like, you know, because it's smaller, um, I don't mind that it's a little more of a smaller grain and it just stays, I guess, more structured that way. Um, the only thing I wish this had was more veining because I love the veining of Hermes leather and this just does not have any of it and again I store it with all the plastic inside because it's like bigger and oh what I love about this bag is that it is oh it's green malachite on the inside just like this huh maybe these are from the same slab because I think malachite and blue Zanzibar were from the same season 2017 or 2018 i think they produced the these colors in both 2017 and 2018 so you never know uh but yeah anyways i am um, i actually when i got this bag this wasn't the one that i wanted i wanted a blue paradise which i'm still on the hunt for i am still on the hunt for this bag if you guys ever see a blue paradise kelly not broken kelly only the color blue paradise in a 32 or a 28 centimeter please dm me on instagram please <laughs> i am looking for a well-priced relative to the prices of hermes but well-priced like not above retail um blue paradise kelly so that's what i asked for but my essay called me with this and I was like, that's ah, not really what I want, but I'll come in and I'll look at it. And once I came in to look at it, I was sold because this is such a special shade of blue. And I just felt like I'm never gonna be offered such a crazy color again. I'm just gonna take it. Um, it's just, it's really great. I wore this recently for Toronto Fashion Week. I will pull up a photo um, and I kind of, do reserve this for special occasions. I don't go to school pick up with this crazy bright Birkin. I mean, that's just a little too loud for day to day, but you know, it is really, really, really special. Just one of the most insane shades of blue that Hermes has ever done. Although Hermes is known for their blues, which is why I am so obsessed with the blue paradise. It's just one of those shades of Hermes blue. I can't get out of my head. They have done so many gorgeous shades of blue, but Blue Paradise is just up there as my favorite, even more than Blue Zanzibar, to be honest. So, you know, hit me up on Insta. If you see it and you're thinking of me, greatly appreciate it. So yeah, that is the last one, my 30 centimeter Blue Zanzibar Togo Birkin with Palladium hardware. And there you have it. All right, guys, there you have it. <laughs> there you have it, guys. This is my entire Hermes handbag collection. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed making it for you. I love telling you about the things that I love, and I know some of you love it too. If you did like it or love it, do me a solid like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you thought, which one was your favorite, why you like it, why you may not like it. And as always, guys, I will be back in a couple days with another fabulous video just for you. So until next time, bye for now.